Thanks for joining us for another Hearthstone Shoutcast. And this time we're playing as Jaina Proudmoor, the mage. We've found our opponent. Let the battle begin. Versus Thrall. Looks like our opponent is Thrall, the shaman. And Thrall's going first. Got a pretty good hand here for the mage. Polymorph's pretty strong in killing uh, enemy minions. Looks like the mage doesn't feel like he needs to do that. He's gonna look, looks like he's gonna be a little bit more aggressive in the early game. He's got some cheap minions. Thrall stops out with an early Elven Archer, and I don't like that play. He probably should have saved the Elven Archer for later when he needs to do just one more damage to finish off an enemy minion. As the major spawns with an Arcane Missiles to Clean up that Elven Archer, so she doesn't take a lot of damage. Arcane Missiles deals three damage randomly, so a pretty good chance it's gonna finish off that one minion. Thrall responds using his hero power. And it's the totem that heals one damage from everything at the end of each of his turns. And that could get out of control. It's definitely a lot of healing. The Mage responds with the Swordsmith here, the Master Swordsmith. Uh, at the end of each turn, it's gonna buff one of the Mage's minions with plus one attack. Okay, so the, the Shaman uses a, a pretty good spell. It's uh, Feral Spirit. It summons two uh, wolves. They're pretty strong. They both have taunts. So you have to attack those. Uh, and uh, it's got overload, which means that the Shaman has a little bit less mana to spend next turn. All right, so the Mage played a secret spell, and the, the Shaman can't see what spell that is right now. He, he has some guesses. Maybe there's only so many secrets, but he goes into attack, and that secret triggers now. It's Mirror Entity, which copies the minion who attacks. So if he'd attacked with a weaker minion, it wouldn't have been so good, but in this case, actually, it sets him up to now prevent the other guy from attacking, but he had another Elven Archer. Maybe that's why he played that first one so early and deals that last damage to that uh, Swordsmith, which is bad for the Mage player as we start seeing a huge amount of minions. And this is even worse because those damaged wolves now get healed by that totem. So the mage player look, looking like a, a little bit overwhelmed here. He plays the Crazed Alchemist. That switches the attack and health of the minion. And when that minion has only one attack, that uh, switches it to only having zero health. And then he uses the hero power to finish off that Wind Fury minion, which is good, because that Wind Fury minion can attack twice a turn. So that could get out of control quickly, especially if you're able to increase the attack of that minion. All right, so the mage looks like she's stabilized a little bit here with that Crazed Alchemist and that Hero Power. The Shaman goes in with that, uh, that uh, Wolf, finishing off the Alchemist. And this time, this Hero Power gives him a minion of a Taunt, a little bit of protection. And then he plays the Arcane Golem. Now, Arcane Golem is huge. It's got four attack and charge, but it has a battle cry power that gives Jaina an extra Mana Crystal. So now Jaina's a little bit up on the Mana Crystal. She's got six, and the Shaman only has uh, five as the uh, mage plays a minion that makes spells cheaper, and now she, she's able to play Blizzard, which does two damage to everything and freezes it, but two damage was enough to kill him off. So now the mage is looking a little bit better. She's got a, a minion on her side, and the, and the shaman doesn't have anything on his side right now. He's got his hero power. He can always make a totem. It's a random totem. Oh, but the shaman plays Hogger. Hogger's got a, a squadron of gnolls always at his beck and calls. He summons one at the end of each turn. Now he's got a minion with Taunt. And the mage is looking for a way to get through and finish off Hogger. He plays Defender of Argus, and that gives adjacent minions a buff and taunt. And then he uses Polymorph to finish off Hogger himself. That newly increased uh, in stats gnome goes after the, the smaller knoll. And he would have loved to have saved that Defender of Argus for when he had one more minion so he could hit minions on both sides of him, but he really had to Use it now before things got out of control. Oh, Thrall equips the Doom Hammer, which gives his hero two attack and lets him attack twice a turn. So he can split that attack amongst two different people or go for the hero twice. It's especially powerful he can find a way to give his hero even more attack. All right, so Jaina responds with Archmage Antonitis. And Archmage Antonitis can get out of control every time Jaina plays a spell from now on while Antonitis is in play. He'll give you another fireball. 
So if you have a lot of cheap spells, you can kind of turn them all into fireballs. If you play fireball, he'll give you another fireball. So the Shaman really wants to deal with Archmage Antonidas as quick as possible. He doesn't have anything to do it this turn, it looks like. He's just trying to get some defense up, maybe survive long enough to withstand the onslaught of fireballs that'll be happening soon here. All right, well, the mage drew another spell, and this is great because every spell that you play at this point will give the mage another fireball. As he polymorphs that wolf, gives him a fireball right away, and now he's got enough mana to play another fireball on the other wolf, which will give him another fireball. And so now he's got two fireballs in his hand. Archmage Antonite is still at full health here. The shamans really would like some way to end the onslaught of fireballs. Oh, the Shaman plays Bloodlust, and now that Sheep has got four attack. Plows right into Antonitis, the Totem also finishing him off. You'd love to use uh, Bloodlust to kill off your enemy if you have a lot of minions in play, but he had to use it now kind of defensively in order to take out that Archmage Antonitis. And, uh, and Thrall keeps swinging in with that Doomhammer, really dealing a lot of damage to Jaina. She's at 16 health, and the Shaman is at 25 health. So Jaina drops Archmage, it's got spell power. It makes all of her spells deal one extra damage. She used her hero power to weaken that totem. Oh, and then the Thrall plays Malagos. Malagos has five spell powers, so a little better than the one spell power that Archmage is providing. Now, uh, Thrall only has three cards. It's not clear how many of those are spells that would be uh, helped by uh, spell power. And uh, Jaina plays Mirror Image, summoning a little bit of uh, taunt minions to try and get in the way of that huge dragon. And using her fireballs that she got from uh, Archmage of Tinnitus to deal a lot of damage directly to the enemy hero. That was seven damage there. She can deal another seven with that extra fireball she's got in her hand. And uh, Thrall's only at 14 health. He's got one swing left with that Doomhammer. He's running out of durability now. But he does have Malagos. And then he plays the Argent Commander. It's got charge, so he can attack right away. And it's got Divine Shield. So ignores the first damage dealt to it as Thrall plays a Wind Seeker to give Malagos Wind Fury. So Malagos can attack twice a turn now. That's a lot of damage coming in. And then he uses that Argent Commander with Charge to finish off that Archmage. And now things are looking a little bit grim for the Mage who just, she thought she had a huge board. Lots of minions with Taunt, all of them are dead now. She plays Blizzard to freeze all those enemy minions. That gives her a little bit more time to get something going, because next turn those frozen minions can't attack. I think that mage would have liked to use that fireball to hit Thrall right in the head and bring him down to eight uh, health. The mage is running, I, I believe, a copy of Pyroblast, which deals nine damage. So if, if she had done that, she might have been able to draw Pyroblast here and kill him next turn, but she's not counting on that draw. As the, uh, oh, and this is bad, that totem, that healing totem now is gonna put those minions out of range of her, of her hero power. She's not gonna be able to ping those off anymore. And now the Shaman playing Lightning Bolt directly on the enemy hero. Looks like he's going all in here. He's hoping that Jaina doesn't have anything to stop this many minions. That crazed alchemist is going to swap the attack and health of that totem again, giving it zero health, killing it immediately. But it's too late. The damage has already been done with that uh, totem. That minion was out of range for the hero power. It looks like Thrall's got enough well damage on the board to finish off Jaina. And that is victory for Thrall. Thanks for watching, everyone.